I'm Daniel Nanbo Listic, the Honorable Member representing the good people of Lantan North Central State constituency in the Plateau House of Assembly in this beautiful Ninth Assembly. My call is Arise O Compatriots. I call on fellow compatriots to look at the weddings in the national anthem, to look at the weddings, the stanza of the pledge, so that we walk towards it in order not to make the labor of our heroes pass to be in vain. Looking at this constitution from 1960 to date, indeed, the performance graph is something of concern. From 1960 to 1979, some of us that did the analysis, we call it the lock phase of political growth, democratic growth, development in Nigeria. From 1979 upward, some of us call it the logarithm. There is a stationary phase, and now we are at the phase of decline. Decline in the sense that due to poor governance. And now that we are declining, we are calling fellow compatriots that it is time for us to do the rightful thing. We need to do the rightful thing in the sense that we must get sound people to man the legislative business, according to Section 4 of the Nigerian Constitution. We must also get sound people to mount the executive business, according to Section 5 of the Nigerian Constitution. As election is fast approaching, starting with the national, February 25th, then the state in March, we want the electorate to do the rightful thing. Once they do the rightful thing, we will get the dividends of democracy because we are out of track. It's good to call people back to track. What I will quickly say is that a brief synopsis of the Labour Party constitution suits in with what Mr. Peter Obi is doing. If you look at the Labour Party constitution from the logo, you will know that the representation of production is there in the logo. If you look at the logo, the wheels you are seeing is about growth, it's about production. And all what our principal is saying, we must work hard in order to resume reduce consumption and work harder in order to produce. So what logo what, what the logo simplifies is all about industrialization. And if you look at the logo again critically, is humans, the father, the mother, and the child. They are the people that will go for production. If you look at characteristics of production or requirement of production, human resource is required. Human resource is required raw materials are required. So looking at again the Labour Party constitution, it suits in with the manifesto of which our principal has. Then we harmonized it, we are working with it. So Labour Party, the social democratic aspect of it is that definitely there will be good governance. If the constitution, he doesn't see it suit to what he wanted, he wouldn't have accepted that uh, clarion call. He saw the constitution and he understood that it's in line with what he wanted. That was why he accepted it. And the decision taken by Nigerians to make him the presidential candidate was as old as 2000 and something. We needed him ever before than now. Now that we've taken this decision and you can see the movement, the way it's going, here on the plateau, the one million march, which turned to two million march, He's coming to see critical stakeholders as at yesterday. And the movement that will take place in Gombe on Saturday, the movement that will take place in Lagos, the movement that will take place in other places, the coinage that we got using 1st October, there is a meaning to it. So his choice is very, very important. Coming down to Plateau State, those of us that are working hard to go into the 10th Assembly, Yes, Labour Party will give people a shocker. I've told them, they thought I'm joking, and I appreciate the people that give both positive and negative criticism. Some do call us, 
to guide us, some suggest, some advice. Some come nicodemically. You know, politics, some may not want to come out now. But we are privileged to be in a position that we've seen the support from people that are calling us. And we are, we are grateful. We are so, so grateful. So we, we have that hope. We have that zeal. We've seen it because of the insight we have that our choice of moving to Labour Party is very, very good. And the masses are ready to support us. And Labour Party will do its best based on the Constitution, based on the party manifesto, to put things on track. So we thank you. We are appreciative of Mr. Peter Obi's choice, and we are appreciative of the state candidate's choice for governor and for state house of assembly. Election is all about the people. It's all about the people. What is our responsibility, and how are people analyzing our responsibility how are people evaluating us so that when we ask for votes, they will give us? Simply, oversight, lawmaking, representation is my responsibility. As a state legislator from section 90 down to section 129, you will see my responsibilities there. All these responsibilities, am I doing them correctly? Yes. Have I been representing my people well? Yes. Have I been making laws? Yes. Have I been going for oversight? Yes. Which laws have I been making? We've, 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 we've done laws, establishment laws, regulatory, we've done a lot of laws. I've sponsored over 12 bills, and people are seeing it. We've moved motions. These laws, these bills, and these motions cuts across education, health, tourism, agri, mining, all these things, they are there. So if the allied sees what we are doing, definitely they will still vote us. What area again? That little representation is there. You rejoice with your people when they are rejoicing. You mourn with them when they are mourning. You don't run away from them. The little you have, that little support you have, you give them. When they call on you, I need little support to complete SSC of my son or my daughter. That little you have, you give. You don't um, procrastinate that I will give big. That little, that's what I kept telling people. The demands are too many. So you give that little. At weddings, you go, you celebrate with them. Burial, you go, you celebrate with them. That is representation. Sometimes they don't have uh, uh, education facility. You construct just little uh, classroom. We are able to construct two classroom blocks and um, offices in six communities. One in an Igber, under Funyalang Ward. One in Wangwang. Under um, Kuala Ward, one in um, Zambaudian, under Jad Ward, one in um, Pagwam, in Kwanpe Ward, they are there. We are able to construct a health facility. We did a work in um, uh, Pusheyashi Ward, it has to do with health. We did a work in um, Riak, construction of um, primary health care. We did a work in uh, Yakot. Under Clear Ward, construction of primary health care. We supported um, pupils with uniforms, books. We promoted uh, social, we did a lot of social investment. Gave constituents little support to start a business. We empowered youths. We bought cars, gave it to them to run transport business, machines for them to do this small uh, achaba. We bought deep freezers, distributed to ladies, grill. My weather is harsh, very hard. Soft one, the weather, when you, you will enjoy the, the, the kunu, we, we, we did those little, little things. We did things that um, our people love. So they made a call. So with these little things that we've done, they have seen it, evaluating it at state level with the minimal resources that we used to get. So I think with this uh, performance, we've seen our people throwing their support to us. So that is why we are bold, we are confident that... Uh, Political matters, issues have gone over, ten de uh, over, over one decade ago. People go by candidacy, and we have that capacity. We are capable. We are ready, and we will still win by the special grace of God because of our performance. As somebody that understands the Electoral Act properly, I understand the Electoral Act properly, and I've studied the Electoral Act properly. I'm not running away from the words that you said, vote for me. But you see, I'm on air. And based on what I understand by INEC law, 
the guidelines. It's October 12th. I will start telling people vote for me. But notwithstanding, now that I'm answering it like that, they know that they need to vote for me. But I'm observing that by October 12th, I will start telling people because I'm a lawmaker and I go by rules, I obey regulation. Once it's October 12th, I will start telling people vote for me.